If you guys are in the market for a new radio, specifically from Milwaukee, they make various other models. I have two of them here that I feel are the two best models that they make, specifically for the M18 and the M12 lineup. I want to walk through some of the differences between the two and kind of help you determine which one of these will fit the needs for you. So starting over here, this is the Milwaukee M18 2792 model. It retails for roughly $249 and it's on sale regularly around $199. This is the M12 model over here, and this is number 2951. And this retails for around $189, and this is on sale for roughly around $149. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice is the size. This M18 version over here is quite a bit bigger, and it is heavier. This is roughly 17 pounds, and this smaller M12 over here is four pounds. When we start talking about some of the things that they share, the first is they're both capable of AM, FM, AUX, and also Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth, unlike some of the other radios in the market, these are capable of reaching up to 100 feet. So that's very important if you're actually on a job site or you're somewhere there and you're walking around. You need to make sure it's capable of supporting a distance if you have your phone with you. The next thing is these are both chargers. Now, not all the Milwaukee radios are also chargers. I'll put a chart on the screen there to show you which ones are capable of it. But what that means is essentially there's an outlet that you can plug these in. So on this version over here, you, you have the outlet here. On the M18, you have a cord back here. So if you plug those cords in the outlet, it's also going to charge your battery. So that's something I like on these as well. They both also have the option to use a USB charger. So there's just an outlet in here that you can plug it in and you can plug your phone in. So if you're playing some music or you're streaming something in here, or your phone's about to die, you're able to put that charger in there. And on this specific M18 model, you're also able to close it and put it in there. Obviously some of the newer phones, they're probably not gonna fit in there as easily as that one does, but uh, that is something nice that both of these have over here. This just flips over and you have the USB charger. Those are both capable of 2.1 amps, so they're a little bit quicker USB versus some of the others in the market there. So if we talk about some of the differences from visual standpoint there, obviously as I just showed you there, it does have this weatherproof lid here that you can put things in there and it is sealed in there where if it's raining outside there, it won't let anything in there. Over here, obviously it is smaller, so you're not gonna have different features like that. And as I showed there before, the cord, I do really like that this one over here has the ability to store it in the, in the back. So depending on where you're going, if you're on a job site, you're not always gonna wanna be carrying around this cord. So that is a good thing that this just stores back here. You can pull it out when you need. Really the only difference outside of the size visually and obviously the cord storage and, and this up here is the M18 also has a bottle opener. So that is kind of a nice feature that it has there. But other than that and the size, they're relatively around the same features on what they have uh, in regard to the visual standpoint. As we move on to the actual radios and speakers themselves, this is a two full range speaker and also two tweeters. Over here we just have one speaker and one tweeter. This one over here is rated at 40 watts, and they talk about a 40 watt amplifier that's in here. Milwaukee's very secretive on what's actually in this. The best I can tell is it's 12 watt rated speaker in there. However, I've searched Milwaukee's website and a lot of different manuals and parts lists, and they really don't talk about that, what that is. So I'm not sure if I gotta take that apart to see what that is or not. But when I look at these speakers, I'm guessing it's probably those exact same speakers. You just got one in there. And obviously this one has a very high quality amplifier in there. And I'll show you a demo here in a little bit of the differences. And I believe a lot of it that has to do with the amplifier that this one has that this one does not have. As we move on to some of the controls, one last thing to talk about here real quick is this clock. And if you notice when I remove this battery, my clock still maintains the time there. And the way that's able to do that is on both of these radios, they come with a couple AAA batteries and those just go on a little compartment in here. And what that allows you to do, it maintains your time, whether or not if you have a battery in there or not. So then when you're obviously using it, it's gonna draw it out of here. But when you don't have a battery on there, then it allows you to save that time. So that is something that I do like. As we get them turned on, they both have very similar power buttons. This one's just right here. This one's up here. In regard to some of the buttons, they have the different buttons here. Well, obviously on the front, these are on the top. It just toggles between your modes, your AM, FM, and you do also have some presets in there that you can also put in there as well. And you can go into 
you know, your different options, your Bluetooth, etc. there. One thing that I really do like about both of these, and not all the radios out there have them, is they have the equalizer. They're not really that high of quality bass speakers in some of these radios. If you get some of the cheaper models, what they do is they just basically have everything set to the max and it's almost like an artificial bass. So I really do like that both of these have the option to do the equalizer and then you can turn that down wherever you want on both the treble and the bass. So that is something I really do like about them. Here's just our clock button, as we talked about there before, if you need to reset it. And it also has some options here to kind of toggle between different things, whether you're on AM, FM, and also on your Bluetooth. If you have something where you need to skip to another channel, this allows you to do that here also on your phone. So those are both nice features. You know, that's just your, your pause and your play there as well. We have a very similar setup on this side. Again, it's a lot of those same buttons. You were just your radio volume, you know, your presets, Bluetooth, etc. there. So from a control standpoint, these are nearly identical and it's probably the same interface behind your control and these, they operate the exact same way. The one thing that I really don't like about this one over here versus here is the Bluetooth. And I'll show you that here in a second. When I connect the Bluetooth on this one, every single time when I turn this on, I have to turn my Bluetooth on, it's trying to connect, trying to connect, it fails. I have to hit OK, I got to turn the Bluetooth off, turn it back on, then it finally connects. This one over here, I simply turn the power on and as long as the Bluetooth's on my phone, it connects in a second or two. So it's very quick, it automatically reconnects all the time. I'll give you an example here real quick. So to turn your Bluetooth pairing on, just hold that button down. You'll see that they're both flashing. So when I'm coming over here, I'll click on the M18 radio to try to connect and it's eventually going to fail okay so it failed so I have to turn this back off turn this back on click the M18 again then it eventually connects so I don't know what's up with that, but that's the only way I was always able to get this thing connect. It would never connect on the first time. I have saw some similar reviews out there on this over the last couple years that there is something with that Bluetooth. I don't know what the problem is, but that is something that's kind of annoying on here. But once you connect it for the day, it's connected the entire day. As we move on to this one over here, you know, watch once I click that on. It just connected automatically already. So it literally connects the second you turn that on and it does that every single time. So that is one big difference on the Bluetooth. They're both the same 100 foot, as I mentioned there before, range where you can walk around where you want. But connecting, this thing is very easy. I can turn this thing on and off as many times as I want. It will automatically connect to my phone. This one over here, I literally have to go through that process I just showed you there to get it connect. So that is kind of annoying. And that is one of the biggest differences that I see from a Bluetooth standpoint, at least for this model here. I don't know if there's something wrong with that or if that's the way it operates, but that's the way that model's done that for me for many years. In our demo, I'll try to do a sound comparison between the two here. I'm not sure how well this is gonna come across on the speaker there, but we'll give it a try here. The music, we'll just find some random copyright free music on YouTube here. Uh, but let me give you a quick demo here. We'll start here with the M12. Now the one thing you're going to notice on this M12 that this one doesn't do, if you notice when I increase the volume on my phone, it's in sync over here. And similar if I increase or decrease here, it will still stay in sync. Not all the radios and phones are like that, so pay attention to, to that there. That is specifically different on both of these models here. As we move on to the M18, let me give you an example of that volume that I was just talking about. So if you notice, if I have this volume all the way down over here and I crank this up, it seems like that thing is very low but in reality, it's just really low over here on my phone. But as I increase my phone, this will get louder. So the volume on this is not in sync with this. So 
but that is something to pay attention to on this. If you think it's too, too low, chances are it's too low on your phone. It's not necessarily the radio doing that. As you can see, they're both very loud radios. Just keep that volume thing in mind there, depending on which radio you have. It doesn't matter if it's one of these or any of the other radios in the market. I see reviews all the time where people talk about it's too low, the volume isn't loud enough. The chances are it's probably your phone's not in sync with it. Just make sure you're paying attention to that and I think you'll be happy with the result. All right, so what are my final thoughts here? As you saw there in our demo, these are both very high quality radios. And to be honest with you, the camera microphone really doesn't do this thing justice to actually show you really how loud these are. These are both very loud speakers. This thing, you're gonna hear this thing all through your house or you're in a warehouse. This thing is very, very loud. This thing is, is loud, obviously it's just not as loud as this. So in the end, it really gets down to really personal preference on where you need it at. Like I said there, if you're in a warehouse or something and you need to project this sound throughout the entire warehouse, this is your go-to. I wouldn't hesitate, I'd get this thing in a minute. However, if you're somewhere where you're always gonna be transporting something around and you need something mobile, and that's honestly the reason why I picked this up is, I got tired of lugging this thing around because it's 17 pounds and it's, it's very, very heavy. But if you're at a stationary place and you want the best quality music that you can get, this is your go-to. If you're looking for something mobile, this thing over here is hard to beat. So hopefully this helped you out here today. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.